Hey y'all, welcome back to the kitchen for another episode of What's Cooking with the Bear. Uh, it's been cold, miserable, rainy here on and off, and temperatures been fluctuating up and down, and so I decided to make me some good comfort food. Uh, what we're making today is cabbage and sausage soup. Um, old wise tale is it's supposed to be, you know, keep you healthy and, you know, make you feel better and stuff, so I know I always enjoy eating it, so it must make you feel better so sounds good i'll get to cooking you all get to watching and all righty y'all start this out um i've already peeled most of the bad leaves and stuff off the outside there's a little bit here um i think that's the only one bad spot but uh we'll take care of that when we get to chopping but i'm gonna start and cut the end of this core here off get rid of that nice flat spot to stand it on we're just gonna cut her into wedges and when, there's a core here you want to get rid of that because that's that don't, that don't cook up nice and it's hard to chew and it's just yuck so get rid of that stuff all right well, looks like there's a little bit more left on that one so get rid of that cut this one up I'm cooking this in the crock pot today. You all can cook it on the stove top if you want. But I just, I'm lazy. I like cooking in my crock pot. Just because it's a whole lot easier. There ain't not, nothing wrong with cooking in the crock pot. So. kind of rough cut this up bite sized pieces and for some bigger pieces it's all right ain't no big deal it's gonna cook down to be nice and soft and easy to eat oh, got a little too big a piece there You just don't want this like shredded up to where it's like coleslaw or whatever. You want some, you know, decent pieces in there to to fill your belly. pieces over here get them chopped up all right that looks like a lot but trust me it will cook down all right all right let me clean my stove up here and uh, we'll bring you back for the next part all right y'all we're gonna prep the uh sausage and this is uh mints medium hot italian sausage you can use hot italian sausage you can use the mild sweet you know you know you can use any kind of sausage you want in this i kind of like this brand and this is medium hot uh it's not so hot that it you know you can't taste anything else but it does have a little bit of a little bit of kick to it so all right 
get that in there. Like I said, that's almost two pounds. It's like one point or nine point two and nine point five uh, ounces. So or point whatever. It's almost two pounds. So all right, got that in the pan. We're gonna put it over a medium heat, medium high heat. Cover her up. Get her browned up and uh, crumbly, and then we'll add that to our uh, crock pot. So let me get this cooked up, and we'll bring y'all back. Alrighty y'all, we're getting this all browned up here nicely. And I don't know if this is actually a big necessity step or what, but I like to do it because uh, it cooks a lot of the grease out of the sausage. You don't want your soup to be too greasy. You know, and plus it lets you break it up into manageable parts. You know, you don't want a big old half pound chunk of snossage on the end of your fork or spoon. So, all right, this is getting pretty close here. I'm going to throw the cover back on her, let her cook a little bit more. Now, like I said, you know, if you're going to cook it on the stove, just cook it for an hour or so. I, I would advise cooking the sausage all the way. Mine's going to be in the crock pot for, you know, most all day. So she'll cook up, make sure she's done everything. And so, all right. Enough of me rambling. I'm going to throw the cover back on this thing. Let her cook a little longer and we'll be back. Alright y'all. Our sausage is done. Got me a bowl here with some paper towel in it. We're going to try to drain as much of this grease and fat off as possible. So... Oh, escape. No escaping. Because you will get in my belly. No escaping. All right. We got her here. I'm going to let this drain for a few. And we will continue on with our meal. So, all right, we'll bring y'all back when this is good and drained. All right, y'all, uh, we got the uh, everything cooled down. That sausage is drained, so we're going to move on to the critical parts, I guess. Um, I like to add a little Italian seasoning to mine. When I say a little, I mean a lot. Just helps with the flavor. And then we got some black pepper here. And then we got a couple containers of uh, broth. One's vegetable and the other is chicken. So I'm going to start out with the chicken broth here. And originally the recipe called for water and bouillon. Um, yeah, uh, we're not playing that game. I prefer to use the broth. It's just a lot easier. All right, got that. And we're going to put the uh, vegetable broth in because I like the flavor of the vegetable broth. And it just, it just gives the better flavor. Almost brought it up to the top of the 
to the top of the cabbage there. So we're going to kind of push that down in a little bit. You don't have to, but it's just easier. All right. Got all that. Now I'm just going to dump my sausage on top. And that'll just kind of chill there. Kind of help press down the uh, cabbage into that uh, broth. So for right now, that's all we're going to do. I'm going to get the uh, crock thing that goes around it that heats it up. Um, I'm going to put it on high for about an hour. Get that broth good and hot and boily and bubbly. Kind of steam and cook that cabbage. And then we'll turn her down to low and let her cook for a few hours. So I'm going to do that and uh, we'll bring you all back. All right, y'all. It's been cooking away for... I don't know, an hour or so. So we're going to uh, give her a little stir here and uh, try to get some of that cabbage and stuff all mixed in here. It's smelling delicious. Oh yeah, the cabbage is starting to soften up a little bit there. I know it's hot. <laughs> oh yeah. She's coming along nicely. Alright. Alright. Get that all pushed back down in there. Get all that seasoning off the sides. Alright. We're just going to let her cook, y'all. So, alright. When she comes around more, we'll bring you back more. Alright, y'all. Uh, this was all, like, super bubbly and stuff, but I took the lid off so it wouldn't steam you all out. So you could actually see what's going on. And Yeah, I think our cabbage is... Well tenderized, and it smells delicious. All right, now we need to add one more ingredient, and that is a can of diced tomatoes. There ain't that much juice in them, so I just left that in there, and we'll adjust if we think we need some more tomato. You know, we'll add that in there, but. Usually one can's enough. You don't want the tomato to be the dominant, you know. So, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's looking good. So, basically we just need to heat that tomato up. So, alright. I'm going to throw the lid back on it. And, uh. We're going to cook her just a little bit longer. Like I said, basically just enough to get that tomato warmed up. And uh, we'll do a little eating. Alright, y'all. It's been a little while. This tomato should be good and warm. Try not to fog you guys out so you can see what's going on here. Mmm. And I did go ahead and add another can of tomatoes to that. Just, uh, it just didn't look good enough. So, oh yeah. Mmm. She smells delicious, y'all. So, let's get us a uh, bowl here. And uh, we'll have a bowl of this. Mmm. And now we need a ladle to, we need some juice. We used to juice. Let me know if y'all know what that's from. No, we in the juice. All right, mmm. Don't that look yummy? Mmm, all right. 
get the camera turned around here and we'll uh, do our taste test. All right, y'all. It's time for the taste test. So let's get a spoonful of this up here. She's pretty still hot and steamy, but I can't wait. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Piece of that sausage and that tomato on there. Mm -hmm. That's really hot. That's really, really hot. Anyways, there you have it, y'all. Cabbage soup with Italian sausage. Hope y'all enjoyed that one. Really hope you're going to try it. If you made it to this far through the video, please hit that thumbs up. It does wonders for the channel. It's free to you. Um, if you are uh, new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, get notifications of everything we do here in the kitchen, out in the shop, on the road, to tractor pulls, wherever we happen to be to be videoing. So appreciate y'all. Love y'all. And as always, bear appetit. Bye.